Thank you, Chairman Babbitt and uh, Ranking Member Sorensen for uh, this important hearing. Um, this is a particularly relevant issue for Virginia. As you know, we are home to the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport at Wallops Island, which is one of only four spaceports in the United States that is licensed by the FAA for vertical launches to orbit. And it is critical that um, not only to spaceflight, but to the robust operation of that facility and all of the infrastructure that, that supports it, uh, it's critical that our regulatory frameworks um, not only work, but protect humans engaging in spaceflight and the communities across the country that support those operations while allowing the United States to maintain its leadership in space. And so, Mr. Coleman, as you know, the memorandum of agreement uh, for range coordination between NASA and the FAA uh, is important for launch operators to have clarity about their licensing responsibilities, especially around ground safety and flight safety. Can you provide an update on the status of this memorandum of agreement? Certainly. Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, absolutely. The, uh, and first of all, these memorandums of agreement are very important. Uh, as was mentioned earlier, Space Policy Directive 2 uh, directed uh, federal agencies such as uh, the Department of Transportation, uh, the Space Force, as well as NASA to uh, minimize duplication of effort uh, and to streamline our, our, our concerted efforts to oversee and work with this industry. Uh, we are working on a memorandum of understanding or agreement with NASA right now. Uh, it is being drafted. Uh, we are pushing hard on that. Uh, we certainly want to see that such that we can uh, have clear understanding and delineation of roles and responsibilities for launch service providers that are conducting operations at NASA ranges, such as the NASA Wallops in Virginia. Uh, we have responsibility for public safety, not only for, for public not involved, but for the public that's present on the facility itself, even NASA employees. Right. And so we're carving that agreement out. We're pushing forward. It is very important uh, for the progress of operations that are being contemplated uh, at the facility that you, that you asked about. Thank you. And can you uh, tell us what steps the FAA is taking to support a cadence of regularly scheduled commercial space launches at Wallops? Well, first of all, I, I think Wallops is an is excellent facility. I was just there a couple of weeks ago, had an opportunity to uh, meet with leadership there and talk about just what you're asking about, how we can work with uh, the leadership there to increase the cadence of commercial uh, activities there. We're also working with the Middle Atlantic Regional Spaceport there. Uh, they have outstanding leadership. Uh, General Ted Mercer, who leads that organization, is doing an outstanding job of pushing for more commercial uh, operations at, uh, at that site. Uh, we're working with the companies, such as Rocket Lab, for example, uh, to ensure that uh, we are licensing their activities in a timely enough fashion, supporting what they're looking to do, such that there can be more commercial activities uh, from that facility. Thank you. Um, and Mr. Mr. Cavosa, can you, one of the things I like to do when I'm back in the district is help to connect the work that we're doing here in Washington and specifically on, on this committee with what's happening in their lives. And while uh, Wallops is not in the 4th District. Um, commercial space flight does have an impact. So can you describe the impacts that the launch and reentry regulations would have on the, the everyday lives of not only my constituents, but people around the country that don't have these facilities in their districts? Sure. Thank you for the question. Um, sort of noted earlier, but everything that is makes up the commercial space industry today whether it's satellite communications, GPS, um, national security, human space flight, um, remote sensing, earth observation, environmental data we're receiving today, all of it is being launched into space through our member companies from these spaceports around the country as well. And licensing slows the process down for new entrants as well, for competition, for new launch vehicles. The, the drag I referred to before of licensing can, could potentially have a dramatic impact on new launch vehicles entering the marketplace, new players entering the marketplace, new companies getting funding to enter the marketplace, and that affects the commercial space industry and all of the benefits that we provide uh, the United States and, and your, your constituents. Thank you. Ms. Chair, you're back. Thank you, ma'am. 